guys, I hope you watched my last video. Please give a like and subscribe to the channel. Guys, I would appreciate it if you wait until the end of the video because I have additional announcements. And as of right now, I'm one person shy of hitting double digits. That would be 10. So by the title, you guys probably guessed what we're unboxing today. And I have here on my cell phone here on the side to make sure I give you the correct information. So uh, we have the Weiner CHC-251S stainless steel. It holds 400 cigars and basically it is an electric cooler for your cigars. Guys, also don't forget in the description there is additional information and as well as different sites where you can see the cooler uh, for yourself. Um, additionally, okay, the cooler was first basically invented uh, for holding wine, but somebody had the brilliant idea to transform it into cigars. And basically it comes with, guys, if bear with me, about three to four trays and two boxes as well as a analog meter to track down your humidity levels. I always recommend you guys to buy a different hydrometer as well, something a little more high end to make sure you have the correct temperature and the humidity. In this case, the temperature, you can actually control it because it is an electric cooler and it will give you the exact temperature inside the cooler. Um, as well as comes with a, basically a box where you can put your crystals for you to control your humidity. So guys, let's go around the corner here and check out the unboxing. Here you have it guys. I know I'm going to be off camera as well as once I turn around in front of the camera, you're probably going to see my feet. But the purpose of this part of the video is just to physically show you the unboxing. I also want to state that this video is going to be composed of many parts. Uh, I was told that not all of the models, but some models do come smelling inside like a uh, factory, like a plastic material. And I was recommended to do a wash, and that's what I'll be doing the next day. Unfortunately, the ingredients is baking soda, which I ran out of baking soda as well as regular water, but I will be using distilled water uh, to clean instead of regular tap water. So let's go in front of the uh, cooler itself. And here you have it guys, this is the box itself. Uh, as you can see, it's a 2.5 cubic feet. Uh, what that means is it basically holds up to uh, 400 cigars. I will not be testing it out if it holds 400 or not, but I have seen people who has done the test itself and over 400 cigars. Uh, it comes with a removable uh, Spanish sheeter drawer and two shelves as well, which I will recommend you guys to basically uh, wipe it down with distilled water before you add your cigars inside. So I am going to be using my trusted Spyderco, like always. Guys, I'm taking careful. I don't want to shove the knife in there and scratch, you know, anything inside. Okay, it looks like there's an additional box, guys. I'm going to try my best and tilt it. There's another box here. And again, be super careful. You don't want to scratch the top of the cooler already. It comes very well packed. Okay, I'm going to try my best and leaving the box intact. These boxes can be very convenient. So, I am going to rotate this.
and drag it out carefully. Okay, here it is. It's inside here. And super, super careful. Okay, it looks like it doesn't want to, okay, more of this styrofoam is coming out, hopefully. It's going to help us move this a little better. Yep, there it goes. And once again, forgive me if you are seeing either my head or my back. Okie doke. gonna put this box here to the side and the cardboard box it's actually bigger than the cooler itself Ooh, it was heavy And here you have it. Okay, it comes with the screws to add the handle. Okay, and as well as three trays, technically four, and two drawers. So guys, here you have it, and with magic of editing, it's as easy as one, two, three. Here is the final resting place. On top here, I have my Zippo collection. It is two-sided, uh, as well as my Cohiba Ashtray, as you guys can see. And right in the bottom, that's where I have the uh, cooler, the cigar cooler. Okay, I believe here it's going to be the final place. I think it looks pretty good. And it's in a way from the windows and there's going to be no draft here as well. Guys, let's go back up and I want to give you details about the what I'm going to do inside. Hey guys, so for the purpose of this video, I am just going to show you uh, two of the oak uh, trays that comes in the humidor. I'm looking over there to the side, if forgive me. It's not that I'm trying to ignore you guys. It comes with basically one, two, three. Comes with four trays itself. Four trays. Okay, and it comes with this um, styrofoam so it doesn't scratch and to keep it nice and tight. As well as comes with two trays, guys. The only difference from this tray to the other it comes with the hydrometer, uh, those stock hydrometers that comes with most uh, wooden uh, humidors. So it is pretty simple, the process is set up, guys. So I have here in front of me distilled water. You can use any brand. The brand really doesn't matter. And a regular sponge, guys, those that you buy at the supermarket or even at a hardware store, it doesn't matter. Uh, you'll be using the softer side, obviously. So what you're going to do is you don't want to over soak it, but you want to make sure it gets wet. And again, use the soft side, not the scrubbing side. So you're going to get the tray or the box. So 
I tip it. And also, guys, if you want, you can use a, a brush. I just recommend whatever you use, either the sponge or a paintbrush, that it's brand new because you don't want the the basically the smells or 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 even the flavors because I do have uh, cooking brushes to get in the wood in the oak. So what I'm gonna do is lightly just give it a quick wash, okay? I think you can see the difference between the colors here, okay? Again, I'm without the light, guys. I turned off my light because of the glare. I was getting too much glare here in the man cave. So you do it one by one, okay? Just lightly, as you guys can see, I'm also I'm making sure that it doesn't go with a lot of water. You don't want this, you know, super, super wet. Okay, guys, I'm going to just, like I said, just for the purpose of this video, you're just going to see me just do this one, just these two trays. <clears throat> so we can move on, and I don't want to bore you guys as well. Okay, and one thing guys, I, um, I'm i going to do both sides, I mean, uh, yeah, I'll do both sides, it's not going to hurt. Okay, this one that I did already first was already, it was getting dry already. This is going to help with the humidity as well guys. Uh, I want to stay, guys, I know earlier I said I was going to do some baking soda. Some guys spoke about how it, it the, the humidor came with that factory smell. I just want to say it did not come with the factory smell. It smells like oak. Uh, so I don't find the need to clean it with the baking soda. So I'm skipping that step. Okay, it really depends. I guess it depends, you know, from machine to machine. And again, this you don't need this to be dripping just lightly. And some of the ones that I previously did already on top, they are getting dry already. So that's done guys, so I can go ahead and put this inside. Like I said, some of them are already getting dry. And for the box, for the tray, we're going to do the same exact thing. This is going to help with the humidity, it's going to help it cure even better. Just make sure you don't want to over wet this. Just slightly wet. Um, I want to also say if you want, I'm not going to do it, but if you would want, give, you know, a good wipe inside as well. The humidor, the cooler itself with, you know, the, uh, with the distilled water. It's fine. You know, I don't think it's nothing's really going to happen. Okay, here you go. Everything's wet in here already. I'm going to do the top as well and the sides. And I'm not going to turn on the humidor, guys, just yet. Oh, sorry, guys. I just had to change the battery on the camera. It died on me. So, like I said... I'm not going to turn on the cooler just yet. I'm going to wait until this is fully cured. So we're talking about like maybe two or three days. Okay. So wet this all around. Wet this all around. And this process I'm going to do, like I said, to all the other trays as well as the shelves. 
And on average, on average, it really depends also how warm it's in here and the humidity level. You know, two to three days before you would stick your cigars in here. I would wait two to three days and then check the humidity. And at that point, you should also have, make sure you have your hydrometers inside as well to check, obviously, the humidity level. And remember also, guys, if you're changing cigars to a different humidor, that's going to make a difference on the cigars as well. Um, and when I mean it's going to make a difference in the cigar is the temperature is going to take a while, you know, for it to adjust. And like I previously mentioned, I like to have more than one hydrometer, hydrometers, I'm sorry, inside to check the levels. So like that, I can see if they're both working and if they're both saying the same temperature, you know, they're obviously working. So there you have it, guys. I don't want to bore you anymore. So I'm going to continue on doing the rest of the trays and also finish off this tray again with distilled water distilled water here uh and a sponge you can like i previously said you can use a brush just make sure it's clean you don't want weird odors to go on your oak which it'll be easy very easy to catch so when you come back uh it should be maybe three days later unfortunately but it's going to be easy because with editing so it's been a couple of days guys and like i mentioned i was waiting until i was ready to put this in the humidor so today i'm gonna show you basically me turning this on so i need to remove this plastic here off the battery and it is a triple a battery And it is that simple, guys. It is, from the looks of it, it is on Celsius. So I'm going to go right here in the back. Click on it. And it is on Fahrenheit, as you guys can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this plastic material that comes with it to protect the screen. It kind of leaves a little glare with it on, so, you know, this is going to be in a safe place where the screen is not going to, um, you know, it's not going to damage the screen. And like I mentioned it, you can put this in where there's metal and it will stick, as well as it has a little stand. And I know you guys can't see probably the numbers but it has a stand but at eye level I'll be able to see the the stand right now it says it's 67.8 uh, Fahrenheit and it is 54% humidity <laughs> sorry about that if I was off screen there it goes it is starting to change a little slowly so there you have it, guys. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, once again, I'm going to repeat myself right here in the back. Just one click away. Fahrenheit to Celsius. And here has the humidity percent, the lowest it's been, and the highest. And here as well, here in the bottom, like I previously mentioned, it is the low temperature and the highest. And with the famous uh, smiley face, and it says comfortable. So it's at 56. Guys, I'm sorry if I was off again. It says 56. Oh, now it went up to 58. So it's getting there. It's starting to stabilize. So I'm going to go ahead and put this where it belongs inside my humidor. Forgive me again for the glare. Uh, as you can see, it is not on. Okay, it's not plugged in. Because I felt like I want to leave 
the wood, the oak, cure without the um, temperature being on. Um, you really don't see it with the glare, but I am at uh, basically eye level. I'm sitting in the ground, on the floor, I should say, and I clearly see the percentage. I know with the camera you don't see it, but take my word for it, I see it. And here is the analog. So we are Chelsea in tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be the third day. So I'm going to see how the thermometer reads. And if it's not where I want it to be, I will definitely add more uh, the crystal for the humidity. And just to let you know, down in here comes with a tray and an inside a, a plastic tray. And I already have the humidity crystals in there by Zycar. Okay, guys, it's been roughly four days, and the humidity is right about on where I like. I know it's hard to see, but it's pretty dead on. Okay, I did order, it's already in here, but I did order additional uh, Zycar crystals. And the one I have, let's see, it's this one, okay? And this one is only for... Uh, I can't think of right now top of my head, but it's roughly 75 to 100, I believe, cigars. It's the 2-ounce. I also have another one with the 4-ounce, and I believe they make a bigger one, which I have. So uh, that I'm waiting for, and that will be placed in there to see if it's going to change whatsoever the temperature inside and just for the record the temperature did drop okay once the door was open it changed a few uh degrees so it's probably going to take a while again now to go back to its normal temperature but the reason for this part of the video today is i'm going to show you i'm going to actually fill this in now okay and as of now, I am going to keep the wrappers in there. Okay, guys. I am most likely going to leave my quote-unquote better cigars up here. Okay. And additional to that, I also have more cigars in my uh, wooden humidor box, which is not located here. And I will be adding more of those cigars in here as well. And if you guys like, let me know. And I will be doing, a, I'll do an update of this video with uh, basically a show off of the, um, of the cigars. Guys, I'm just off camera here. What I'm doing is I'm just opening up the plastic wrap. Okay, for example, this one, the Olivia, comes in, cigar itself comes with wrap, but it comes with a five pack, so it's additionally wrapped. So that's exactly what I'm doing off camera. So bear with me, guys. So as of now, just to give the impression that it has a lot, I'm going to mix them, you know, put some here, some up there, you know, gives the look, as you guys can see, you know, here and there, it gives the look like it has, oh, there, there I go popping this again, and again, I'm off camera behind you guys. Uh, I should say behind the camera and I am opening again the plastic wrap the samplers you guys know these samplers come wrapped all together as well and that's exactly what I'm doing right here off camera
and that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to add these guys as well, and these that I'm putting, I'm going to add them in this bottom tray. And right now, I mean, you know, people, some people leave the wrappers on, other people leave the wrappers off. I mean, it really depends. I, I've done both. Okay, I've done both. You probably will see uh, some wrapped and some unwrapped. Okay, but for these, these are all wrapped so far. The wrapped, you know, the wrapped cigars maintains the uh, the basic structure, guys, I want to say, of the cigar. You know, it, it won't break apart, I want to say. Some people also, they'll, you know, chop off the tip of the cigar. Let me explain what I mean. Not the cigar, they'll chop off the plastic. So you have the cellophane, the plastic. So people will remove this tab right here and the cigar will be breathing. I've done that as well. So, I mean, I've done both and I had no issue with any of them so far. So it is what it is. And there you have it, guys. It's been, this has been a long video, guys. You know, I've been going on for a while with this. I mean, it's like I said, it's the fourth day of this, of this video. So it was four days to actual do this video. So I'm just going to bring you guys up and close here in person. Bring the light on. So there you go. The light is on there. The temperature, guys, it's hard to see, but the temperature definitely changed because I had this open for a while. There's some in here and some here. The only ones that are empty, I'll bring you guys back. It's the tray that, that's here with the thermometer as well as these two. These are completely empty. But again, like I said, I have more that I will display. And let me know what you guys think and let me know if you want to see an updated version of this. And when I mean updated version, it's basically just a show off with all the cigars inside. So guys, I hope this video explained, you know, in depth, the, uh, the cooler and a few of these steps that I did as well, you know, curing the, the cooler, the humidor. And let me know if you guys do anything different in the bottom or any feedback so I can learn as well as, you know, I am a beginner. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.